Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make an automatic water level controller. I have used ultrasonic proximity sensor as the water level sensor in this project. I hope you're gonna like this video. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I have created schematic diagram of the project. Then I created PCB layout and then I generated Gerber files and upload them to JLC PCB website. Then I selected all required parameters such as dimension, quantity, color, and a few more options. Then I click on save to cart. This will send our project into shopping cart. Then I click on checkout securely. And then I add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. After a few days, I have received the PCBs. Let's open up the parcel and look at the PCBs. So these are the PCBs. As you can see, the PCB quality is excellent. Silk screen, solder mask, everything is perfect. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. An automatic water level controller is a device which automatically turns on a water pump when overhead water storage tank is close to empty and turns off the pump when tank is full. I have used an ultrasonic sensor to monitor the water level. The sensor is going to be placed on the top of the tank and I have also used Arduino to calculate the water level and control the water pump. I have also used a 16 by 2 LCD to display the water level, pump on off status and the mode of the controller. This controller has two modes, auto mode and manual mode. The mode is controlled by a switch. When the switch is off, the auto mode is selected and by turning on the switch, the manual mode is selected. This push button is used to set the size of the tank and turn on and off the pump manually. When controller is in auto mode, the push button is used to set the tank size. And when the controller is in manual mode, the push button is used to turn on and off the pump manually. These are all the components we're gonna use in this project. First connect Arduino, after that connect 16 by 2 LCD and connect its pin number 1, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 16 to ground and its pin number 2 and 15 to 5 volt pin of Arduino and its pin number 4 to pin D2 of Arduino, its pin number 6 to pin D3 of Arduino, its pin number 11 to pin D4 of Arduino, it's pin number 12 to pin D5 of Arduino, it's pin number 13 to pin D6 of Arduino, it's pin number 14 to pin D7 of Arduino. After that, connect a 2.2K resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 3 of the LCD and its other pin to ground. After that, connect an ultrasonic sensor and connect its VCC pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino, its ground pin to ground pin of Arduino, its trigger pin to pin D8 of Arduino, its echo pin to pin D9 of Arduino. After that, connect a push button and connect its one pin to pin D10 of Arduino and its other pin to ground. After that, connect an on off switch and connect its one pin to pin D11 of Arduino and its other pin to ground. 
After that, connect a 5 volt relay module and connect its VCC pin to 5 volt pin of Arduino, its ground pin to ground pin of Arduino and its in pin to pin D12 of Arduino. So we have seen all the connections. Now let's put all the components together. So we have put all the components together. Now let's upload the code to Arduino. I have made this case for the project. Let's put all the components in this box.
So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.